early breast growth and diabetes. Puberty onset is more of a range than an exact age or time. Nowadays early puberty is more common than ever. For some girls, puberty comes far too early. So the growth of breasts also. Early breast growth is a predictor of later health problems such as type 2 diabetes. Scientists from University of Glasgow found delaying breast growth may be helpful in reducing the risk of diabetes in later life. The only way to delay puberty is to stop producing puberty-triggering hormones from the pituitary gland. But delaying the onset of puberty may not be feasible. The research team revealed a way to stop the premature growth of breasts without affecting puberty altogether. According to the study, an immune molecule named ACKR2 prevents macrophages from moving into the breasts until the female is old enough. Atypical gamokine receptor ACKR2 controls branching morphogenesis in the developing mammary gland and delays the breast growth. Macrophages are important regulators during development of the mammary gland. But puberty can start normally without ACKR2. The researchers hope that the identification of this molecule could help them predict which young children will enter puberty early, and then slow down the process. Prepubescent girls with low levels of ACKR2 will go on to develop breasts early. It may be possible to predict early puberty by testing young children and boosting levels of ACKR2 to halt the development of breasts in girls attaining puberty earlier. The American Diabetes Association advise other ways to reduce the chances of developing type 2 diabetes. Keeping a healthy body weight is one of the easiest ways to lower the risk. Managing blood sugar, blood pressure, and cholesterol levels all help to reduce the risk. This can be done through a healthy diet and ensuring proper and regular exercise than playing with the natural figure. Thank you.